Hello and welcome to a new episode of Minter Resort Simulator. I'm here with Max today and Max, you're gonna showcase us a new upcoming DLC. Hi. Hi everyone. Yeah, exactly. We're here on the Reachstein DLC map. Uh, that's a new DLC that is currently in production. Uh, and we're happy to show you some first impressions of the map in this video today. So, Max, you already announced the DLC in, Fe I believe it was about February, and today we're already playing it in multiplayer here. So, do you want to give us a rough overview about which features do come with the DLC, just to remind us what will come? Yes, sure. So, exactly as you've said, we've originally announced the DLC back in February this year, uh, and originally we only announced the Intermediate Station, which is the highlight of the map uh, or of the DLC uh, on the ropeway perspective. Uh, but since then we've been working on several other uh, contents like uh, this entire map that we're playing on, like uh, another fixed grip chairlift and also like um, new features for the game. Yeah, so maybe let's walk through these features um, starting with the map because that's what we're seeing most. What is the main difference of the map to the already existing Hallstein map? So uh, the largest difference is the size. Um, many players have given us feedback on, on the map size of the original Hallstein map as it being slightly too large, in particular for, so almost unplayably large for single player and even for small multiplayer games with like four or, or three people, it was a very large map. Uh, and also due to the size of the map, uh, the performance was a major issue um, and actually also the level of detail wasn't that much um, over the entire map. Uh, so we decided to build a smaller one this time, uh, so that's why Riedstein is actually a little bit smaller, uh, in particular regarding the area. But um, in contrast, it's much higher detail, so we have many, uh, many like bushes and rocks uh, and stuff like that apart, uh, apart from the, the slopes. Mm. And also, it's actually the, the best size for like a small multiplayer crew of two or three players, but it still makes fun with larger crews, and it's also still really uh, a perfectly uh, sized map for single player. So I think we found the, the very best compromise here. Nice. Also, a really important thing is that you now can switch this map from winter to summer mode, right? Where you're gonna be able to see grass, rocks, gravel and all these things and start um, to yeah, prepare your snow area with snow cannons and stuff like that. Exactly. So we've seen that many players loved this feature. We actually never implemented an official feature like that. We just had a grass texture uh, on some mod maps. Uh, so we decided that for this map, we're going to build it uh, from scratch with new terrain textures. Uh, and the good news is that these new terrain textures can also be used by modders for their own maps. Um, and exactly, it's perfectly fun to play with uh, snow cannons now uh, because you can produce large, like, piles of snow that clearly um, distinguish themselves from, from mm -hmm. the underground. So moving forward, I would say let's park our snow cats just at this um, restaurant in front of us because we have a really nice overview from here and I really want to showcase one of the major new features was, which was highly requested. So you go right, I do, do left and let's just park them here for now I would say. So, yes. So, there's a new m major uh, feature which is just around you, um, just next to you, which you can showcase us, Max. <laughs> yes, so if we go a little bit around there, we have some skis, and players always wanted to grab these skis and ride down the slopes. Uh, so the good news is we've already had a skiing mode in Alpine uh, and we've worked a lot on it, uh, on improving it and making it really fun to play, uh, also in multiplayer. And so we're very glad to present our brand new skiing mode. Yeah. That skiing mode is already known from a console game you actually created. It was from Alpine and you are able to drive down the hills with that one. You can do it in single player, but also in multiplayer. So Max, just hop down and go down the road, uh, down the hill, I would say. 
I'm yes, waiting down let's there. Do that. there for you. All so right. You, you have different options to control your skiing. So you can make sharp turns, more slightly turns. You can go into drifts. You can jump and all that stuff. So it's really much fun to go down and ski a bit and actually seeing your um, ski resort from a different viewing angle. Exactly. So uh, we've actually already tested this feature uh, in the beta. I have to add, we're still working on some improvements because multiplayer debugging is always <laughs> a core issue, um, but it's really fun to play. So the, the feedback has been very positive. We've also tweaked a lot on the, on the parameters uh, of, the, of the skiing mode. Uh, also, the, the jumps can be really big, which is a lot of fun. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of you ride down your slopes. So besides that, the, these are the major things I would say for the DLC. Um, you said there's an intermediate station, there's a new map, and there's a skiing mode. All these stuff will be available for models as well, right? They can use them on their custom maps. Exactly. So that's actually the largest advantage of the, the intermediate station is feature pack released by, by us as official game developers. Um, all of those features, in particular the, the free deflection angle of the intermediate station, are also available for mods. So um, modders can just build their own ropeways and also make them work uh, with more than one section. Uh, we're also experiencing that many teams are already keen on trying it out. Uh, so we're currently having four or five teams, if I remember correctly, uh, working on mods like that uh, in early access program. And we're looking at some more in the future. Yeah. If you look over to the left, I already prepared something. I just start the snow cannon here <laughs> so you can see which kind of massive snow you can expect, as Max said, once you ha are able to re-snow or to actually start um, snow, putting snow on summer maps as well. That's a lot of fun and gives simply the ability to create new environments on the map. So last thing I would say, Max, for today is the intermediate station here. Do you want to walk us once through it? Really, really a tiny overview about it? Yes, sure. So. If you ask what is actually an intermediate station and why is it so special? Uh, the main thing is here, we don't just have one regular ropeway coming from the valley to the mountain, but we have an entire station where the, the gondolas get detached from the rope, where they um, slower down uh, so you can enter the gondolas. And then we have this curve here uh, where the first ropeway is connected with the second one that then goes down the mountain. And the mm -hmm. special thing is here, we can separate those two ropeways. So the gondolas from here could turn uh, and go back up to the mountain. And equally, the, the ones coming from below could also turn here. And this process of coupling or decoupling those two sections together is actually one of the, the core main things for ropeway enthusiasts in the Winter Resort Simulator Riedstein DLC. Really nice one. So overall, that was just a quick overview about the upcoming DLC Riedstein for Winter Resort Simulator. Last but not least, Max, do you want to give us a hint? When will people be able to play that one? Hmm. Sure. So we've been actually working on the DLC for quite a long time now. Um, it's been announced in February uh, and we're glad that we will be able to release it for this year's skiing season starting on December the 1st. Really nice. So just at December, you can get your hands on that one. Overall, I would say that wasn't the last video of the DLC for sure. We're going to take a closer look into the intermediate station and all other things later down the road, closer to release. Um, definitely leave your feedback, leave your co questions and comments down in the section below. Feel free to like and subscribe. Snow some snowboards if you're able to. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely stay out for more content of Winter Resort Simulator because the winter season is just starting and it's getting really, really cold down here. Max, thanks for your time. Thanks for showcasing us that amazing DLC already in a small sneak peek. I'm really happy to learn more about the Intermediate Station with you, definitely. And thanks everyone for jo joining. Max? Have a great one. See you next time. 
See you. Bye. Bye-bye.